Hello everyone and welcome back. First of all, thank you for watching my channel and I hope the information was and continues to be helpful. All these trainings have a written version on our blog as well, watermarked at the bottom of the video. Today we'll show some more tricks for the operating system itself and the features inside it. Launchpad. To open the launchpad, press F4 on the new Macs or click on its icon on the dock on the older ones. So let's press F4. There you have it. Based on the Mac attempt to create an operating system that looks nice and simple like an iPad interface, you are able to create folders here with uh, applications, right? So you can, let's say, drag one application on top of the other. It's going to open up a folder that you can actually rename and so far and so forth. So you have a lot of nice looking folders with applications inside. Okay? The programs. All the programs in Mountain Lion will um, remember all the open documents. So the next time you open that program again, all the documents open before the program was closed will open again. To prevent this from happening, you need to tweak the, uh, the saved application state folder settings. Right? Usually the library folder is hidden, so you need to press Option as you choose Go Library. So if you press on Go, you're not going to have the library over here, but if you press, if you press Option, there you go, have it right here. Okay, so you open the library and in the library you have um, a folder named caches. Over here you have all the caches for all the applications. So for Safari, for example, all of them are locked for me, right? I locked all of them. Uh, for Safari, if you want to, to disable that feature, you go to com.apple.safari, right? you delete the entire cache over here, then you, you right click on it, get info, and you lock it, right? As I said for me, all of them are locked, but um, you, un you unlock it, uh, you, you lock it, I'm sorry, you lock it, and uh, the program will not be able to actually modify anything in this, uh, in this folder. Okay, let's close them. Another feature is Option Command Escape. Option Command Escape will let you um, bring up a list of the open programs so you can force one of them to quit or relaunch for that matter. Right? Um, this is actually very helpful when you have one program that, it, that it's unresponsive. Another feature to switch between open programs, you can use the command tab combination. Command tab. Right? Okay. Open mission control. Open mission control, you can if you press F9 on your keyboard, it's gonna open the mission control. All your open programs will shrink to a size that'll allow all of them to show on the screen. There you go. As you can see. If you press escape, it's going to get out of it. When you have a program that you want to pin to all your desktops, just click the program on the dock. For example, let's say Safari, I want to open on all, all, uh, all my desktops. Go to options and you select all desktops. Right? That means that the, if I'm going to open Safari over here, I'm going to have it on all the desktops. And this one as well. There you go, you have it right here. Okay. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos. Also check out my blog watermarked at the bottom of the video for the written versions of the trainings. Thank you.